So you're wanting to add a chat box to your website. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that for free using Facebook Messenger. Now, we released this same video about a year ago, and since then, Meta has updated their business manager a lot, meaning our older instructions are out of date. So I'm here with the most recent instructions, the most recent Meta update. And let me tell you what, the new update really made this hard to figure out, but we got there, so let's jump right in. Okay, I'm gonna show you now how to add the Facebook chat box to your site. So you will need a Facebook business account before we get started. And if you don't have one yet, you can just sign up, obviously at facebook.com and get a business account. If you don't wanna use Facebook, there are other options out there for adding a chat box to your site, but it will probably cost you a monthly fee. And I know that like 99% of you have Facebook anyway, so that's what I'm gonna to teach today. Plus it keeps all of your messages in the same place. If you already use Facebook, if you already use Instagram, all of your DMs from your chat box will go into that same place. So it'll be really easy to manage all from the same place. If you're gonna follow this tutorial to add your chat box to your Squarespace site, you're going to need a Squarespace business plan. So this will not work on the personal plan because we'll need to copy and paste a little bit of custom code. If you're doing this on a different site, then I'm not sure of your plan requirements, but I know a lot of you who follow me use Squarespace and want the Squarespace instructions. So just be aware that you will need to upgrade to the business plan if you are currently on the personal plan. Okay, so if you have signed up to Facebook now, I want you to go to business.facebook.com slash latest slash inbox. And that's gonna take you to your Meta Business Manager or your Facebook business manager or Meta Business Suite. I don't know, I can't keep up with all of the name changes, but basically this is where you manage all of your DMs from Instagram, from your comments, your messages through Facebook. You can manage all of that in here. So that's where we need to start to get this chat set up. So once your chat box is set up, you'll be able to reply to messages in here as well because they're just gonna come through as Facebook DMs. So then you want to come up here to this cog icon, which is a settings link. Click that and then click view all settings. I don't know why it's hiding in the view all settings area, but this is where to find your chat plugin. So you want to click chat plugin here on the left. Now, first, we need to make sure our domain is set up. So this used to be called whitelisted domains. It's in a different area now. It's all in the same place with your chat plugin, which does make it easier. Here you'll have the website domain area. Click on this little edit icon and you're going to put in your website domains. So in this window, you're gonna add your full website domain. So for us, it's bigcatcreative.com. I don't know if this makes a difference, but I always like to add the version with the www and then the version without just in case. Now there's an optional step here to add your built-in Squarespace domain. And this will allow the chat plugin to appear on the back end of your site. So when you're actually in the editor, you'll see that your website has the domain and then it has .squarespace.com. So this is what we call your built-in domain. And if you wanna test your chat plugin and see it on the back end of your site, as well as on your main site, you'll wanna add your built-in domain as well. So click add domain. And for me, that would be bigcatcreative.com squarespace.com. So yours will be different here depending on your built-in domain, but the dot squarespace.com will be there. So if you're not sure what yours is, just make sure you log into your site and have a look up here, or you can go into settings, domain, and have a look at your built-in domain. And you can also change it in this area if you wanted to change it to something specific as well. So I can show you how this actually works in my test site here. I'm actually going to add this domain as well to my business area. I'll definitely make sure to remove that after the tutorial is over, but I wanna show you a live version on my test site. So I'll click save. Now we can set up our chat automations. So here under the automations tab, this is where you can add automated messages based on your set schedule. You can also display FAQ with custom responses for visitors on your website. You can set your away hours. So if you toggle this on, you can play around with your schedule and this will update your status from available to away within this box here. And then you can also set a custom greeting. So this is the one we had most recently talking about our Black Friday sale. And you can see on the right here, a preview of what that would look like on our website. You can also add a welcome message. 
So with the greeting, this shows up before the chat started. And once the person starts the chat, then they'll see this welcome message. So that's the difference between the greeting and the welcome message. The welcome message is only showed once someone actually initiates the chat, but the greeting is shown before they even start the chat. Now, if you want to add FAQs, this is really cool as well. A really great feature to help answer questions before people even ask them. So you can see when people have started the chat, there's these little questions down the bottom. So instead of actually asking you these questions, they can just click on them and you'll have a pre-written answer set up. So that's a really handy feature as well. Okay, so we're done with the automations now. We wanna customize our chat plugin. This is the fun part because we get to add some color and edit the design to suit our website. So first there's actually guest chat. So this lets people chat with your business without logging into Messenger while using the chat plugin on your website. And I highly recommend having this turned on because otherwise it's going to force everyone to sign into their Messenger account. And it is possible that someone doesn't actually have a Messenger account and this might kind of annoy them that they have to have Messenger to talk with you. So definitely have this turned on, I would recommend. And then you can play around with the colors here. And that's gonna change the color of the buttons on your chat plugin. You can decide on the button style. So you can have an icon only, icon with text, or just text only. And you can edit the actual text here by clicking text only and choosing chat, ask us for help. You can also choose between the button only. So they actually have to click for this to pop up. Or you can have the button and greeting already sitting there like this. Or you can choose the whole chat plugin window to be open. So these are the ways it will display on your website when someone lands on there. So it just depends how eager you are to get people to chat to you. And you can also play around with the button size. So standard or compact. So basically just a little bit smaller. And then also on the mobile view, you can play around with the size of that too. Same with the chat window. I'll just open it up. Standard or compact. And you can play around with where it's going to be positioned on your website. So standard pretty much is right bottom. I think most people expect it to be in the bottom right corner, but you can also do left. And then you can also play around with how far away it is from the edge. So for example, if I increased the bottom margin to zero, it's gonna be right on the edge there. But I think 24 by 24 is pretty good and we should just leave it like that. Okay, so once you're happy with how it looks on desktop and mobile, and you're ready to add it to your website, you wanna scroll back up to the top of this section and click set up. So if you're using any of these websites, WordPress, Shopify, Wix, Squarespace, ManyChat, or Webflow, once you click on the provider, Facebook will give you simple instructions for how to install it. And generally it's very simple. You either copy a bit of code and paste it into your website, or they have a specific plugin for you to use and they'll just direct you towards that. But generally really simple. If you're using something else, they also just provide the raw code. So you can go through here and get the code to paste it to your website. For this example, I'm gonna show you how to do it in Squarespace because I know you all love Squarespace in this community. So let's click on Squarespace, set your language, check those domains. We already set them up, but just check them again anyway. Now we have this code here. I'm gonna click copy, then click next. And it actually tells you exactly where to put it in Squarespace, which is awesome. Click settings, advanced, code injection, into the footer section and save. So I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so settings here in the sidebar, advanced, code injection. And then we're gonna scroll down to the footer area. So it's this section here. Paste in our chat plugin and click save. So I've just refreshed the page because if you add any code into here, it won't show straight away. You need to refresh, but you'll see now that this chat box is showing inside our editor because I used this domain here in the Facebook chat plugin domains area. So that's it. So you can make live changes to this as well. So if you want to change things, you can just update them in here. And now you already have that code pasted in. It's just going to update them straight to wherever your chat plugin is added. So for example, if you wanted to change some of the automations and some of the text, I could change it here, click publish, refresh my page, and you'll see now it just says hello. So really easy to update, really easy to add. And if you start getting messages through this chat, 
you're going to find them back in this inbox area that we were in at the beginning. So they're going to come through your messenger area. Okay, I hope that was easy enough for you to understand. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.